Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In this video, we will see some tricks in solid state. The first one is calculation of number of particles per unit cell. Now how to find out number of particle per unit cell? For that we will see the basics. We have got first one that is called as the simple cube or simple cubic crystal called as the SCC. Here particles are there in the corners. This particle is there in the corners. How many corner particles are there? Corners are 80 number. Now what is the contribution of each corner particle? Okay. Each corner particle is shared with 8 other unit cells. Okay. Since there are 8 corners multiplied by 8, therefore the contribution of the 8 corner particle per unit cell is, is equal to 1. Okay. Next one we have got phase centered cube called as the FCC. Here in case of FCC, there are some particles which are there in, on the faces. So this is called the phase particle. How many faces are there? Altogether, there are six faces for the cube. There are six faces. And each face is shared by two unit cells. Therefore, it is one by two. Into number of faces, there are six faces. Therefore, into six is equal to three. So, per unit cell, six face faces will contribute to three. Okay. And the next one is a body centered cube. In the body centered cube, there is a particle right at the center of the cube. Okay, this is called the body centered particle. This is known as the body centered particle. And uh, how many body centered particles are there? Only one. So, per unit cell, there is only one. Okay, contribution is one. So, one into one is equal to one. Right? Suppose there is an edge centered particle. This length is a edge length. It is a particle at the center of the set. This is known as the edge center particle. Okay. And this edge center particle, how many are there? Altogether, how many edges are there? There are altogether 12 edges are present in the cube. So, what is the contribution of each edge particle? Each edge particle is shared by four other unit cells around it. Okay into how many edges are there? 12 edges are there. Therefore, it is equal to 3 number. Okay. Now, let us see how to calculate number of particle per unit cell. Okay. We will calculate number of particle per unit cell is equal to Z. Now, here there are 8 corner particles are there into contribution each one is 1 by 8. Therefore, number of particle Z per unit cell is equal to 1. In case of FCC, Z is equal to, there are two kind of particles. Corner particles are 8 into each one 1 by 8, right? Plus there is one center particle. Its contribution, you know that it is 1 into 1. So total is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, right? And in case of FCC, there are 8 corner particles and each one contributes 1 by 8 plus there are six faces and each one contributes one by two. Therefore, it is equal to one plus three is equal to four. These numbers are important for us to solve some problems later. Okay. The next topic here is a coordination number. What do you mean by coordination number? Coordination number is nothing but number of particles touching the given particle around it. Okay, so we have got SEC, we have got BCC and we have got FCC, correct? We have got number of particle per unit cell, Z is equal to 1 year. For BCC, Z is equal to 2 and for FCC, Z is equal to 4, right? Now, what is the coordination number? Coordination number is equal to 6 for SCC. Remember this one. Coordination number for BCC is equal to 8. Okay. 
so it is like a 1 plus 1 so basic is 1 6 the one extra one is there you remember is equal to 2 and for FCC coordinate number is equal to 12 now this 4 I can split as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so basic is a 6 okay the remaining each one contributes like a 2 2 2 you remember okay so that makes is equal to 12 number it's a small trick here right or you can also remember like this let me write a a b c d e and f till f and let me give the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so let me go for s c c s letter is not there is 0 c is equal to 3 plus 3 2 c is there let me remember it is 6 coordination is 6 let me go for b c c b c c b is equal to a number right c c 3 plus 3 that makes is equal to 8 and let me take a f c c f c c f is equal to 6 and c c 3 plus 3 that makes is equal to 12 so this was small trick to remember okay right next one is a packing efficiency you can remember some percentages here so we have got again uh, scc we have got uh, bcc and we have got uh, fcc right so we have got packing efficiency for F scc is equal to 52.4 percentage bcc is equal to 68 percentage and fcc is equal to 74 percentage or you can remember try to remember 100 minus 100 minus and 100 minus 100 divided by 2 you can remember 100 divided by 3 remember and 100 divided by 4 you remember approximately this gives 50 percentage approximately this equal to 67 percentage approximately this is equal to 75 percentage if you're getting confused with the numbers interchange numbers you can remember like this okay we have got two important defects in case of ionic solid, Schottky defect and the Frenkel defect. Okay. In case of a Schottky defect, equal number of cations and anions are missing. Ions are missing. Equal numbers are missing. Correct. So remember, so SCH means a shortage of ions. Shortage, short, missing. If the ions are missing, density decreases. So, density decreases compared to ideal crystal. In case of Frenkel defect, ions are not missing. Ions would remain the same. So, it is always equal. Initial and final is equal. Okay. So, therefore, same density. Density is same, constant. Does not change. Remember, this is about the density. Okay. Next one about the coordination number. With the coordination high is low. Coordination number is high for, okay. Scott key defect thing and coordination number is uh, low. Okay. Ions having a uh, low coordination number shows Frenkel defect. Ions or the solids having high coordination number shows the Scott key defect. Okay. High H comes here. So Scott key H high. Low. Okay. Frenkel L low. You can remember like this. Equal. Okay. SCH shortage short clear right now examples to remember you can remember sodium chloride potassium chloride and uh, cesium chloride and uh, silver bromide for Frenkel we can remember silver chloride silver bromide silver iodide and uh, one more thing and remember zinc sulfide Silver bromide is common in both the cases. Therefore, silver bromide ionic crystal can show both the defects, Scott key defect as well as the Frenkel defect. Okay, right. Next topic is the radius R and nearest neighbor distance, that is the D. Again, we have got three types: SCC, then I uh, will bring FCC here, and I will bring a uh, BCC. Okay. Remember root 1A, root 2A and root 3a is equal to first one is 2r second one third one is 4r and 4r 
where r stand for radius remember okay so two radii of the two ions is nothing but the nearest neighbor distance i call this as the d 2r remember is equal to d so i can split here 2 into 2r okay and i can split here also same thing 2 into 2r therefore okay so root of 1 is equal to a a is equal to 2r and uh, distance between the two neighbors is equal to 2r okay that is uh, equal to a itself here d is equal to a clear in this case uh, d is uh, equal to root 2 a divided by 2 for the simplification d is equal to a by root 2 okay third one d is equal to root 3 a divided by 2 remember d is equal to a next one d is equal to a by root 2 third one d is equal to root 3 a divided by 2 right yeah next one is the last one is the classification solids based on the arrangement of the particle you know that there are two types of solids one is called as the amorphous solids and uh, second one is called the crystalline solids crystalline solids amorphous solids are short range order solid short range order solids right whereas the crystalline solids are long range order solids okay and also remember very important terms here is isotropic and anisotropic amorphous are isotropic crystallines are anisotropic iso means same iso is the same whereas aniso means not same not same or it is a different correct different now what do you mean by isotropy and isotropic isotropic mean they have got same properties in all directions in all directions whereas anisotropic means uh, different properties in different directions different property in different directions so you can remember i s p d here you can remember a d p d means i stand for isotropic same properties same direct in all directions okay same properties in all directions a d stand for a is the anisotropic different properties in different directions right if you like this video please do like share and subscribe Thank you for watching.